Hey everybody, welcome back to Taco Tuesday, episode four. How I would describe today's taco is quick but good. It's not gonna be a showstopper, but it's great for a quick lunch or weeknight meal. And they're vegetarian too. It's a garbanzo and black bean filling with a nice spicy avocado yogurt sauce. I'm sure you guys will like it, so let's hang around and watch the rest of the video and make these tacos. So here's our shot of the ingredients, and you may see I have two kinds of beans. Normally I would use double black beans, but I only had one can, so I thought let's just throw in some garbanzos, but any bean will taste great in this dish. All right, to kick this one off, we just need to thinly slice up our onion, and just using half an onion here, and then we're also gonna do the same with our garlic. And we're also just gonna lightly chop up the chilies in adobo sauce. And chilies in adobo sauce, definitely something you should have as a pantry staple. It provides so much flavor and it can be used in all kinds of different dishes like we're gonna make today or different soups, stews. You can just add it in with ground beef and you have something that's so much more dynamic and complex than just you know slapping something with some salt and pepper. Now we're gonna head over to the stove and we just need to put in probably about two teaspoons of oil. You actually don't need a ton and just make sure it's lightly covered over the pan. Then we're gonna get toss in our garlic and our onions and let that kind of just lightly fry down for maybe two, three minutes. Next, we're gonna to toss in the chilies and adobo, some smoked paprika, which is one of my favorite spices to have. Just provides so much more richness to a lot of dishes. And then we're gonna come in with our garbanzo beans and our black beans. And like I said, you can really use any bean for this dish. And just give this a light mix around and let those flavors get comfortable with each other. And then this is an optional step, but I like to kind of half mash these with a fork. It just kind of helps everything stick together a little bit better in the actual taco, as opposed to kind of the beans rolling around. And like 10 minutes later, we have this great filling for tacos. Super easy, a lot of pantry staples. Definitely give this a shot and add it to your cooking repertoire for those quick meals when you may not have a bunch of things on hand. And here's the ingredient shot of our spicy avocado yogurt sauce. So busting out the mortar and pestle to just help grind everything up for this sauce, but you could use a food processor or blender if you wanted to. So come in with some cilantro and a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna add about half of this jalapeno and just mash that up. And be careful, I did spritz a little bit of this in my eyes. Doesn't feel great, be more careful than I was. Once the peppers are mashed up, we're just gonna come in with our avocado and we're just gonna mash this up as well until it's kind of like a little bit chunky. I mean, you could make this ultra smooth if you wanted to. It's really up to you about the texture. And then as always, salt and lime in these kind of salsas. The salt is gonna enhance everything in there and the lime juice is gonna provide nice balance and acidity for the dish. Then we're gonna stir in our yogurt and make sure you give it a taste and we're ready to assemble these tacos. Taco Tuesday week four, here we go, taste test time. So as you guys can probably tell based on the videos that you see on this channel is that I'm not a vegetarian, but I do like vegetarian dishes when they are good. And this is definitely one of them. This is one that I would just eat on my own, not because I want to eat vegetarian, but just because I think it tastes really good. So we're just gonna load this up, get some of this nice avocado yogurt sauce. And I like the addition of the yogurt into the kind of, I mean, it's kind of like a guac, but you add yogurt to it. Just gives a little bit more body, gets a little bit more creaminess. Then we're gonna top it with a little bit of cotija cheese. And yeah, that's, that's looking good right there. That baby is just packed full of flavor. Pretty hefty too, actually. It's a nice solid meal and it comes together in probably 15 minutes tops. Let's give it a taste test. Mm. 
That is so, so good. And like I said, I'm not vegetarian. This is just something that I like to eat because it's really good. But if you are looking for some new vegetarian dishes, this is definitely one that you should try. And also you could make it vegan by just not using any yogurt in the sauce. Everything else is good to go and then obviously you can't use cheese either. But this is, oh. And that creaminess from the yogurt in the sauce though makes it really nice because then the spice isn't overpowering. You kind of get that creamy component to kind of knock out some of that capsaicin which provides all the heat that we know and love. I'm telling you, this is like 15 minutes worth of work. You just throw everything, you saute onions and garlic in a pan, then throw in your beans and your adobo, a couple spices, good to go. And then while that's simmering, you can make this in like three, four, five minutes. You can even throw it in a blender, make it even faster if you wanted to. Then you have a quick, delicious dinner or lunch, and I'm telling you, give this one a shot. So that's gonna wrap it up for week four of Taco Tuesday. We're already a month in, but there's so many more videos coming this summer. So definitely leave me a like and subscribe to all the videos that will be coming out. And let me know down in the comments if there is a taco that you want me to try or something that you like and would like to see it made in a home cook environment. But that'll be it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.